Hey everyone, welcome back to Shop Life. As you can see, we are continuing with the kitchen of our apartment. We finally started to get all of the stuff put together and we decided to go with a subway tile for our backsplash that we're running all the way up to the ceiling. But as you can see, we're starting with this beveled subway tile. We're gonna go through that whole wall all the way down to where the cabinets are gonna rest and then we'll see how it turns out. While we were installing these tiles, we did notice how uneven the wall was. None of the walls are actually that straight to begin with, but also they're a little bit wavy. So when we we're installing these tiles, we had a lot of issues with trying to keep them, you know, centered and make sure they're straight, especially to the eye, it would look straight. But then if you go with the next row, it wouldn't look straight at all because there would be a more of a gap on one side. But we did our best and we actually got it pretty good. Uh, we, we actually left a lot of gaps for wherever we needed to cut the tile because we just want to get all the full tiles in first and then we'll just cut all of them at once instead of having to run up and down the stairs you know, with all the various cuts. So we just went ahead and got all these spacers in, made sure we got it to look as you know even as we could. And for the most part, it turned out pretty good. Now we started to test fit the microwave. So this is like an over the range microwave that we picked up off of somebody for pretty cheap. And we're just trying to get it fit in that we can figure out all the bracket situation. And as you can see right here, we've already got the bottom bracket in. Now we're just getting the top one, you know, mocked up. The microwave was surprisingly heavy, which is what made us a little bit worried of just mounting it to the wall. Um, especially you'll find out later why, you know, the whole wall situation was a little funky. <laughs> Let's see if a plug fits through there though. I'm recording on my phone right now because our SD card is a fool. Kids don't do this at home. But it's because they're self-adjusting screws. On the other side, you'll see a pop-up. I see it. Damn! Who did that? I did that. What you did, we'll just cut a notch in that floating shelf. It'll hide the hole. Like a boss. It's pretty solid. Wait till I'm hiding the screws. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Right, that's like the perfect height, too. <laughs> so we got this over the range oven because um, there's no ventilation here. Who? Ventilization. What? Ventilization? Where are you coming up with these words from? <laughs> There's no ventilation. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So this microwave basically does it all. And you can actually, like, this microwave we got for a steal. It was 50 bucks. And um, it's brand new. Brand new. Main reason is if you look over here, it's all dented and stuff. Which is perfect for us because you're not going to see this side. <laughs> My goodness. Some people are just born clumsy. But what I'm saying is we got it for 50 bucks. It's like a maybe $150, $200 microwave. It's not massive, like, cause we don't want something huge. It's, it's kind of smaller inside than it appears, but there's a built-in vent. You can make it vent out through your roof or you know have a side vent, whatever you want. We're not gonna mess with all that. If we're cooking something like that where it needs like a huge vent, we'll just open this huge vent right here and 
put a fan or something. But yeah, this one's perfect because a 110, so you don't have to worry about you know doing any extra wiring. We've got the 220 wired up for the cooktop that's going right here. And yeah, and then we had we you know we ran into these problems right here with the step, but we got that figured out. This whole renovation process, let me tell you, takes forever. Now I see why people that, you know, whenever they, they hate renovating or like, you know, why it takes forever and people's houses are just torn up for like forever. But we're getting it done and we've been at it for what, about a month? Yeah. Change everything up. And we're, this is the first time doing everything on our own. This is the first time I've ever installed a microwave. Can you believe that? That's why the scooters are all wonky. But it's dirt. I could probably hang on. No! Oh, we won't be able to put that shelf up though until I take the screws out. Yeah. Yeah, so we're putting floating shelves here and then one a long one up there. Um, just like we did on this side, which we didn't show you guys, but um, we did that short one short one long one long one here um and we already did the template so that we can put the subway tile accordingly <laughs> what okay. i said accordingly accordingly <laughs> yeah and we're also going to tile right here and up there. Screw. Look at him. Screw. Mm -hmm. Screw. Farted. What? Farted. You farted. Payback. Don't tell me. I don't fart. Okay. And our kids are over here sleeping. There's Fluffy. There's, <laughs> There's Callie. Fluffy's like used to the noise at the shop, but Callie, on the other hand, this is all new to her. Right, Callie girl? She's five months old now. She's starting to look a lot like a real grown Sheba. Look at her leg. Why is it twitching? <laughs> Cute girl. Cute girl. Oh, you're awake. Good boy. Holy moly. That took forever. Look at the mess we made too. Yes, all the mess. Oh, oh, oh right there. Yep. Now we just really have to clean every single tile, especially at the top, before putting in the cabinets so that, you know, I don't know how I would reach up there. <laughs> you Once... can reach right now anyways. Yeah, he had to do the top. But... I, just say I only did the top, I did a lot of it. What you talking about? <laughs> Whatever. And over here, it's looking good. We got new grout sponges because this old one here. So grout float. Didn't work. Grab float, not sponges, my bad. This is the sponge to clean. Yeah, so we got this squishy one and it worked a lot better for these bevel tiles. And we also, I was using this one so we could both do it at the same time. But yeah. Hi! Anyways. Isn't it weird that we're like able to show them like you know, like where we actually sleep and stuff. Like, you know, we couldn't do that back in California. Why not? <laughs> it's hard to explain. We'll make a whole video about it one day. How about that? If you guys want to know about our living situation in California, comment down below. Or how that get on? When we do our final deep clean. Like, we're just going to be like, <laughs> let's just work or let's just use it. Where's the hole? That's what he said. <laughs> Family family.
family. Come on now. Hide that wire. Hide that wire. Don't let them see. <laughs> that was going to be the microwave connection, but this one just plugs into the wall, so we don't need it. Yep. We'll put the messed up one. We got it from Ikea. Factory defect. We'll put that one here. And it doesn't have wood green compared to it the other ones. It doesn't. It's just the print. Wait, we don't have, have any texture. extras, right? We're using all of them. Yeah, we are. And we have bought one extra each, remember? Just in case? No. Yeah, cool. No, we, we didn't. Three. I wanted three and three. Oh, you. Oh, yeah, this also scratched up right No, here. no, that was not there. See, no, I told was. you. That was, I promise you. Oh, my. No, it wasn't. Man. You can't have nothing nice because then you try to keep it nice. Well, at least, like, like if they ever get damaged, we just buy the same one again. Yeah. I mean. We don't have to redo the. Yeah, the holes. So that's the only spot where we have a gap that's not filled up. Why do you have to tell them? <laughs> yeah, right there. So but, we'll I mean, you don't see it. Well, I don't see it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't even see it. <laughs> um, I am too short. And the kids are over there sleeping away. Oh, they woke up. Uh, Y'all talking about me? Look at our mess. We can't wait till we put the floor over there. Oh my god, that's even worse. That's all the kitchen cabinets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We were just mainly waiting on getting the kitchen cabinets done. Not done, but like put in before we actually uh, start putting the floor down over there. Because then otherwise, if we have to do anything, like this doesn't go there. We had to cut that one. To make that one over there. Oh, that one fits like a glove. Look at that. Like a box. And we are still filming on the phone because our SD card is filled up. Hopefully the quality is okay. No, it's the iPhone. It probably sucks. What? It's an iPhone, so the quality probably sucks. Mm -mm. Your pixel will do worse. My pixel's like five years old now. Come on. So is mine. No, it's not. And by the way, if you guys are wondering why we went short, long, whatever, all different kinds of sizes, because originally I wanted three small ones on this side and then the big ones on this side. But since it was impossible because the shower is on the other side of the wall and there's what drain pipes going there's down. Drain pipes, there's water pipes. And we wanted to have like at least two bolts on a stud for each of the little brackets. That way we can put some weight on it. We didn't want to just do, uh, the, do the drywall anchors. That's what we had to do it that way. Otherwise, we have to move this shelf. Like, it would have to touch the wall. And we have to, like, and still wasn't, like, completely possible. We have to cut some more of this in order for it to work. Yeah, so, basically, yeah, we couldn't fit a small one up there. Or two more small ones up there. So, this is what we had to do. It'll be fine. I'll, I'll put, like, a huge decoration right there so it doesn't look weird. Like a vase? Like a vase or something. Yeah. I told her we could put one more long one right here. But then, but then still look weird. Yeah, and then it'll be like a little one right there. It'll be, yeah. look weird. And we're still going to put caulking around the, all the edges of the shelf. And we didn't want to do kitchen cabinets on the walls because also the same reason, the shower's on the other side, and because it'll be more money. <coughs> that would be ridiculously expensive. And because um, it would just feel so crammed in here like it did before. Mm -hmm. So we did open shelving. And on this side, we put the microwave, so it was like... Why even bother putting more cabinet? I mean, you could literally only fit like one cabinet. She can't even reach up here, so imagine if we had a cabinet up there. She wouldn't be able to reach at all. Yeah, so it worked out that we had the two extra shelves that we didn't use on this side. So it looks and good, though. the other thing is, so there's no studs in this wall. Oh, I yeah. I think there's only like one stud right here, and then maybe one going across down there. 
but luckily the whole wall behind the drywall is just uh, like half inch or maybe even thicker, like probably five eighths plywood. So we can actually just bolt it straight to that. And I had to make custom brackets to fit the microwave because there's no over, uh, there's no cabinets going on top of this. Otherwise the cabinets are supposed to hold the microwave from tilting forward. So I made custom 90 degree brackets. That way they bolt straight to that and pull it back in. A lot of custom in this yeah, kitchen. Yeah, even the shower. Look at this. The shower, Man. we had to do a lot of custom brackets and stuff for <laughs> the water lines and all that. But yeah. This is like, I've never seen this before. Like an opening for a fridge that's like raised like that. But that's yeah. because on the other side of this is a staircase going down. And if they didn't have like little things on the, on the ceiling of the staircase, you would hit your head every time. So that's why they have this little... <coughs> but yeah, that's that. Yeah, and now the color pops a lot more. It looks good. We still have to change those outlets because they're so yeah. yellow. But yeah, and I have to do paint touch up because the paint, the expensive ass blue tape we bought, still peeled the tape. So. Still peeled the tape, yes. S still peeled the paint. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 11. Well, what time is it? It's 11. So, yeah, 10.53. They, they showed them so they believe us. Yeah, when they saw it, when oh. I showed them. That's why I had to make sure. Oh, I was about to say, it's like 3 a.m. And they're like, yeah, right. We saw the time. No, usually it's right around like... We've been we've been working until two three a.m. ever since we moved in here. Cause we wanted to move in, cause otherwise, like, you know, we're just driving back and forth from our parents' house, and that's just like we were driving like thousand miles a week for that. And we did that for what, like two three weeks? Cause you know, holidays, Christmas, all that. So I mean, it was fine. We didn't really complain about it too much. But now we can at least get some stuff done. Cause right now we'd already be at my parents' house sleeping. So it's like yeah, because we had a because you know we left the dogs and we would have to go home early, take care of them. Yep, and then my parents gotta go to work, or at least my mom, and all that. So that's it for this video. Next video, we'll be installing our IKEA kitchen. And don't worry about the whole cost breakdown. We will try to like explain all that. We're keeping track of trap. We're keeping track of everything that we're spending in this apartment. That way, we can have the title. You know, we spent whatever amount of money on our apartment makeover. But anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you guys are enjoying all of this makeover renovation, whatever you want to call it. We're enjoying it. We're having fun. And you, get, you guys get to see exactly how we're doing everything and how we're living now. So yeah, we'll see you guys in our next video.